Welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, we're going to take a look at the human touch sensor, which I have right here. Now, to demonstrate it working, um, I have it, of course, hooked up to our Arduino board. Um, this is an Arduino Nano, and I've got an LED here, and I just put together a quick sketch, which we will get to in a few minutes. I'll show you the sketch. And what it'll do is when it's touched, it'll turn the LED on, and when it's touched again, it turns it off. And if you hold your finger on there, it'll flash, because what I have is I just have about a half a second delay between readings Otherwise, you would touch it and nothing would happen. It would just always be on or always be off. <clears throat> now, right here, we have a, a multi-turn potentiometer. Uh, if you turn it clockwise, it turns the sensitivity up. Counterclockwise, turns it down. For the actual touch itself, it doesn't make a lot of difference. But you can also hook this up to something metal. I have a screwdriver here, and if you turn the sensitivity up too much, just the metal touching it will set it off. But if you adjust it, then you could have this connected to something bigger, and whenever you touch the metal object, as you can see, when I touch it, it turns it off and on. And the reason I'm holding it and it's not going off and on is because I have a plastic handle here, which keeps my fingers from making contact, so unless I touch the bare metal itself, and here is a piece of aluminum, and you see I touch it, nothing happens because there is paint on the aluminum. It has to be bare metal or your finger. I am assuming um, an animal should, without a problem, be able to turn this off and on as well. Maybe had a small plate when a cat or a dog walks over it or a rodent, it would activate something. I'll leave that up for you to experiment with, but I do believe it should work. All right, I'm going to turn the power off, pull the sensor out here, and what we have, of course, is on the top, we have our little touch sensor, and there's a little metal prong. It looks like a transistor, basically, and the middle the middle metal prong is just bent around it, and that's what, um, if you wanted to connect this to something bigger for touching, you would connect to that, and then the other two, um, the other two legs go to the sensor board itself. To connect it up, we have it's marked on this side here. A all oh, that's our analog out. This could be used for analog readings, but if you're getting this on the breakout board here for the digital, you're most likely using this digital. I've never even messed with the analog for this. This is something to kind of the digital is the best way to use it. Our next pin here, the second one, and it's marked with a G, that's our ground. Then we have our positive here, that's where your 5 volt from your Arduino goes. And I do believe this will work as well with the 3.3 volt Arduinos, um, um, it should. And then over here we have our digital out pin. And then once again, this is our adjustment here. Clockwise uh, <clears throat> increases the sensitivity, so if you turned it clockwise enough, just touching it with a metal object will set it off, I've noticed. So you can adjust that if you hook this to something bigger so that just that object ain't setting it off and it has to actually be physically touched. All right, let's go over to the computer. And uh, I will show you the little sketch I put together for this. It's a pretty easy and basic sketch. Um, oops. It would help if I had it plugged into the right sockets there. But uh, yeah, the sketch is pretty simple and easy. We're just doing a digital read of the pen. But I'll run through it quick in case you are new to Arduino. And uh, we'll run through and refresh your memory there on how to do a digital read. So I'll catch you at the computer in just a second. Okay, I have the Arduino IDE opened up here. And um, if you would like to uh, get a copy of the sketch try out yourself um, just go to the uh, the website you can find a link to that in the description below and uh, it'll have links on there as well to where to get one of these sensors if you don't have one and uh, you'll be able to get uh, this code here if you just want to copy it and paste it into your Arduino IDE I do recommend typing it in it does help you learn a little better but if you're an absolute beginner and you just want to try this and see how it works I guess, okay, go ahead and copy and paste it in, but 
as you start learning and get more into Arduino, I do recommend typing it in because you will learn more. So with that, let's just get started. What we're doing here first is we're just defining uh, our LED. That's on pin 13. That way we didn't have to add a resistor. Um, there's one built into pin 13 for the, uh, the built-in LED as well. So you didn't have to use an external LED. But I put one on there so it, it showed up better. Then the sensor, the uh, digital uh, pin from the sensor goes to our Arduino digital pin 4. Uh, then we have an int called sensor, and that's just going to be where we're storing the value when we read if it's high or low. And then um, our state here, 0, it, it'll go between 0 and 1. And what that'll do is tell the if statements that we're going to be getting into here in a moment. If the LED is already turned on or if it's off, that way it knows, you know, do I turn it on or do, do I turn it off now? In the void setup, we have our pin modes here. Uh, the sensor, of course, is an input. LED is an output. Uh, next down in the void loop, um, we're, we're doing is we are reading the sensor. So sensor equals digital read the sensor pin, and our sensor pin is pin 4, and that's where the digital output of the human touch sensor is connected to. Next, we're doing an if statement. If the sensor equals high, which means it's being touched, and the state equals zero, which means the LED is off. What we're doing is we're coming down and we'll digital write the LED high. So we're going to turn it on. Then we are setting the state to one so that the program, when it runs through again, knows that the LED is turned on. And then we're doing a delay of 500. Just so otherwise, if you didn't have a delay in there, you'd touch it and nothing would happen. It would just always be on or always be off. You got to have the delay in there. Uh, I just went with 500. Uh, whatever application you're using this for, I'll leave it up to you what you want to use. But you're going to want to you know, leave enough of a delay in there so that it's not just reading it as continuously being touched. So what we have next is our if, else if statement. And it, if the sensor equals high and the state equals 1, which means the LED is on, then we're digital writing the LED low. Then we're setting the state to zero so that the program now knows that the LED is off. And we're doing a delay of 500 again. And then we got a delay of just one millisecond here. And that's just for some stability in the program. Um, between 1 and 10 works great in here. Uh, you don't really have to run any more. Actually, 10, I would recommend, would probably make this a little more stable than just the 1. And it's still going to be fast enough. It's going to detect the sensor being touched. All right, with that, um, I think we can go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, there's lots of applications for this, and you wanted to make a touch switch, you could use this, um, maybe attach it to a lamp, so when you touched a bare metal part of the lamp, it would turn it on and off. Just remember, though, the if you connect this to something metal where you're not just touching that metal prong on the sensor itself, it does have to be bare metal. You cannot paint it. But um, you could try, like, using a jumper cable and use a little piece of tin foil um, if you wanted something that was going to be exposed outside and not rust. Aluminum would be the way, which tin foil is aluminum. Um, you could use an aluminum can. Just remember, you're going to have to sand it because the inside is coated with a clear plastic um, coating. And the outside, of course, is painted. Um, but, uh, yeah, have fun with the sensor. Play around with it. Uh, if um, you've got any application you're going to be using this for, leave a comment. Let other people know, hey, this is something you could use this sensor for. So, with that, um, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, I do lots of videos on Arduino and a little bit of other stuff as well. So, if you found this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it very much. So with that, we'll say uh, thanks for joining us here today. I hope you have a great day, and remember, have fun building.